ultimately, I, um, when I was lower on the rungs, I worked with the a teen group, Youth Speak Out, and I had to train them to tell their story because I realized I loved it so much. And I would shoot my own horn. I'm a good public speaker. And I wanted to be able to give other young people the opportunity to tell their story in a way that people could hear them. Because when I first started out, I just said everything that was on my mind, which if you're a caseworker, being told you suck at your job, you don't really want to receive that too well. So I had to learn that piece. And so in training them, one of the things that was our goal was to create laws that would be impacted, that would impact future generations. And so we worked with that team. We actually got Missouri to pass a bill of rights for children. It's called Missouri Children's Bill of Rights. I mean, that got passed a few years ago. So these kids who were 14 got to come back to the Capitol when they were in college and see the governor sign into a um, law, something that they put together. It was a good group. It and that was super, was yeah. super Very rewarding. Exciting. The most rewarding thing. I love my program that I created, but that was one of the most rewarding things because it was not me. It was through people who specifically as teens, as teens that got a law passed, and got to put that on their resume, that they impacted a system legislatively for future children. Um, and then I've gone to DC a few times to talk to them about, hey, do better. Mm -hmm. See, when I got my records, a lot of it was redacted out. I cannot tell you how aggravating that is to have your life. You're told you can't know your life. That, oh, it's so frustrating. Even my siblings' names were redacted out. I know who the hell was in my home. <laughs> it makes no sense, but they redacted out so much. And I had to sign a waiver saying that I wouldn't talk about what was specifically in there. Like, I couldn't republish it. Like, it was so protected. It was absolutely crazy. And I allowed myself to get off on that tangent that I forgot. At least your you got question. it. I don't know. Kansas, I don't what was your question? Yeah. Um, the workers. Oh, so when, in redacting it out, they took out, of course, the people who were in the field. So I don't know what happened to them. What I have heard through the grapevine, of course, some people got fired. But someone believed that one of the workers might have even killed herself because she felt so guilty about what happened. And I've just never even sought out to validate that. So I don't know if that's true, and I don't want to know because that, I can't have that on me. Um, but I know that some people lost their jobs. And there are people who were in this field when I came into care who still work here. And so that has been really cool. It's my worker, my adoption subsidy worker, I've worked with now as a professional. Mm -hmm. And so it's like sitting at a table. Probably very cool for her too. Sitting yeah. at a table and being like, hey, how you doing? Mm -hmm. This is my this is my part. This is your so that's been really cool, and I've worked with my guardian at Lightum as well. Um, I I had the opportunity to hire people who care for me in Salvation Army Children's Shelter. One of them was terrible, and so that was beautiful when she came in for an interview because she could see her eyes make the connection. I was like, Hello, Kim. <laughs> Come into my office. <laughs> Tell me why you're, no, I actually hired her. She was super qualified. <laughs> super qualified. But I was, I was so happy because I could tell when I was 10 years old, she was not thinking, oh, this guy could be my boss one day. I should have to treat him with some damn respect. <laughs> so yeah, that has been interesting too. Thank you all so much. I really appreciate that this, I really love that this group exists. That's really cool. I'll have you back in Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna check in and be like, okay, now, are you guys still working are you, together? Are you if not, are you? I'm gonna come back into the same spiel again. Be a lot more direct this time. Yeah, I'll read it to you. I'll sit in the filibuster here. Lock the door. <laughs>